Please subscribe to the videos, otherwise I'm gonna lose my job. What's up, YouTubers? It's Trev here from Pit Viper, checking in with you. Quick update here, the YouTube channel's doing real bad. Not getting very many views on the videos anymore. Trev's gonna lose his job, so make sure to subscribe, otherwise I'll get fired. I've been thinking of ways to make the YouTube videos better, and the first thing I saw was some makeup tutorials. They're getting millions of views, and I wanna get millions of views on Pit Viper videos. So today I'm gonna film a makeup tutorial. Tutorial. First, I had to head to Target to get some makeup. By filming makeup tutorial for Pit Viper video, I succeed in three ways. One way, I get 1 million views on Pit Viper video. Two ways, I teach you how to put on your makeup. Three ways, I'm wearing makeup so I look better in Pit Viper videos, and I score millions of views on future Pit Viper video. Just a quick rundown on what we're going to be applying here to today. Sorry I'm so bad with a manual zoom, I'm just... It's hard to figure it out. I'm gonna start with some pink nail polish just so my hands look nice and pretty while I'm putting my makeup on. Then we're gonna do a primer and that's just kind of like a cream that you smear all over your face. I guess like lotion or something to get your skin ready to shleam up with makeup. Then we got the natural finish and I think this is just like paint sort of to rub all over your skin to make it all look consistent. And then once your skin is consistently this color, I think you do some highlights. That's to kind of make it look like you're glowing. And I got an ultra blendable water highlighter to use today. Then you put this stuff on, bronzer, I'm not really sure what this is, but you put the brown kind of all over your face and maybe it just makes you look a little tanner than you are or something. And then the blush goes on your cheeks towards the end. I got the Burt's Bees brand because they make chapstick, so I figure this stuff's probably good for my skin. And then this is is a, a paintbrush I got and that's what you use to smear it all into your face and then we're gonna end with some uh Oops, nope, oh, there it is. We're gonna end with the Heartbreaker really bright pink lipstick to really bring the look together. So right now I'm just gonna paint my nails with the nail lacquer that I got, strawberry margarita. Oh, that's a lot, oops. She's doing an awful job. This one is just dripping down the side. Maybe I can kind of mop it up. So those maybe dried up pretty good. I smudged them a little, but it's just a video for Pit Viper, so it's not too important about how good of a job I do painting my fingernails. The makeup is the real takeaway here today. So let's get started here. First, you're gonna wanna grab your primer or your base. Wet and Wild Impossible Primer Base. It's the one silicone free primer that does it all. From what I learned in the videos, this is kinda cream that you put on your skin before you put makeup on. I'm not really sure why, but maybe it's because makeup's bad for your skin and you gotta put something on underneath to make sure your skin's all right. So I think you just smear this stuff in, but we'll get some up here. Get some on my nose here. And I'm gonna use a lot of everything because I want to look good. I'm pretty sure the next thing you do is you use your finish. I think that's what it's called. Just get a shot of me squirting this out. That seems like a pretty good amount. Put some on up there. Sure seems like I got a lot on there. Rub that in. Because I'm wearing Pit Vipers, I might miss a few spots around my eyes, but I think that's looking pretty good. I'll be including some pictures along the way so you can see what it's supposed to look like. Basically, it should be looking a little bit like that. It's a, I'm pretty sure it's just like you, you're painting your face with your base. I think next was bronzer. You get your little brush. Mine looks like this. I have a powder one, but I think you can use pastes too. I just ended up going with the 4-in-1 Radiance palette. This one, you're gonna wanna do some lines down the side of your nose to start. Kinda go along your hairline. And you wanna put this stuff on thick, something like that. Maybe you put it on your cheeks to blend your beard into your makeup, sort of. So then you get your little blender sponge. I think you just kinda dab this stuff in. And I don't really get what the point is here, but you just, I think, kinda want it to blend in. Oh, my nose looks great. But let me snap a couple more pictures. So I would recommend the Revlon Candid. And, oh, it's called Foundation. This stuff's called Foundation. This color is great. Medium beige is the color of my skin, so I'm a medium beige. And then I think we do highlight highlighter. This stuff's pretty fun. You just smear where you want. And I want it, where did she put it in the video? I think over here, and maybe a big spot up here, and probably my nose. I think that stuff you can blend right in with your finger. Big smile, cheese. Blush is really fun, and this you just kind of dab all over your face, wherever you want to look good. And I want to look good. 
here. I want to look good here. I want to look good up here. And I want to look good on my nose. And I'm not seeing that, so I'm going to just keep piling it on there. What else do you do? Oh, I forgot some of this stuff. Oh, yeah. And you got to go under the eyes. I want to get the gold stuff under your eyes. Big triangles, she says. Big triangles. Just like that, I'm looking a whole lot better. Then it's time for the lipstick, baby. This is the final piece. This stuff's easy as pie. You just slip it on. This stuff's great because you can make your lips look bigger than they are. That's my full makeup routine, how to contour your face. I spent $100 on the company card at Target buying all these makeup products. And I think I could use some more because I didn't feel like I missed a couple things. And the girl in one of the videos had this stuff but in a cream form. So you're just putting like layers of cream on top of cream. This is my makeup routine. This is how I do my makeup. Let's go check in on some mail. I've only gotten three pieces since I moved here. That's about one piece a month. That is not enough mail to justify spending a couple hundred bucks on the company card to open a P.O. box. Please send me more mail. Uh, hair preferred. We love fancy meals, really expensive food, and we can go get a fancy dinner at the seafood restaurant across the street. Drinks are 20 bucks with a tip, so we need a lot of money. If you'd like to send me some mail, you can address that to Dr. Trevor, P.O. Box 3001, Tucson, Arizona, 85702. So number one is from my, uh, my buddy Josh, Jackson, Wyoming. I shaved off my big old beard two days ago. Don't you think your buddy Trev would want that for his collection? You got a bag tied up. That's a big wad. Thanks Josh from Jackson for the bag of hair and the nice note. Next one's from Scabby Legs Jr. from Middleton, Wisconsin. Ooh yeah, this hair's making me squeal with the light. This one's some very fine stuff and it really took the shape of the envelope. It says, crap, don't worry about this side I fucked up. There's a kind of a big red thing. This is my leg hair, just one leg's worth. Let me know if you want the other leg's worth. Sucky, sucky, I want a sucky. Spontany. There's a little weird drawing of a person kind of spreading their butt cheeks. Scabby Legs Jr., thanks for the mail, appreciate it. It's from LK, Madison, Wisconsin. Oh, sick, oh my God. We've got a gallon Ziploc bag pumped to the brim with cat fur and it says summer harvest. If you're new to the series, feel free to check out this video where I give a tour of all my hair. You got the leg hair, you got the cat fur, you got the beard hair. I'm gonna add all these to my hair collection. Thanks so much for tuning in. Please send me more mail. I went inside and I was reviewing the footage from reading the mail and I decided I didn't have enough makeup. So I just stopped in a Target and spent another $75 on makeup. I'm gonna head home and put this stuff on. These brown lines didn't really smear in the way I wanted them to. I wanted something a lot more wet. I like the idea of a cream. So this is to conceal the bags under my eyes. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's much more noticeable. And I am applying this right on top of my last layer. But I'm not really sure how this worked. Oh, I broke it off. Not really sure why I bought this one. Wow, it kind of looks like my face got spray painted with gold spray paint. <laughs> Might have got a little sloppy there, but maybe that's pretty good. We got one more eye thing left to go, and that is our eyeshadow. It's kind of cool. So I'm feeling pretty good about this look. That's how to contour your face. Like and subscribe if you want some more makeup tutorials from your buddy Trev. I'd be glad to do it. All right, I guess that's it for now. Take it easy, we'll see you later. <laughs> Filming him right now. Oh. oh, he's gonna get it. Come on, buddy. Yes. Think a little harder. Oh my god. Good work.